Dear Witch Party, it's the Arch Potato back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom font to any Minecraft Bedrock Edition text pack. I'm not too sure if this tutorial will work for Java either, but you can give it a shot if you need it for Java Edition as well. So right now I'm using my own custom texture pack and as you can tell by the chat, uh, this is not the Mojangles font, obviously. This is a custom font, so I'm going to be showing you how to actually download cust any custom font you want and adding it to your custom texture pack. So let's get right into it. So what you'll first want to do is go to any custom font website where you can download a custom font for free. The one I'm going to be using is the font.com as there are multiple different choices and styles in font that you can choose from. So we're going to just go for, let's go for a sci-fi type of font for no reason whatsoever. We're just going to pick one at random just to show you. Uh, let's go for, let's go for arrow. We're going to download arrow. Okay. So now we have arrow downloaded. What you want to do is double click on the zip file and whether you have WinRAR or not, you need to extract your .zip file into any folder. So I'm just going to do that now. So when you click on your uh, zip file, you should have a file called arrow.ttf or, you know, whatever font you're downloading .ttf. So what you want to do is you want to extract that to a folder, whichever folder you want or down like extract it to your desktop or whatever, you will be able to find it. I have a tutorial folder, so I'm just going to extract it to the tutorial folder. So here it is in my tutorial folder. So obviously we can't put the dot ttf file into the .mc pack so i'm going to be showing you how to actually download the .ttf file as a .mc pack so you'll want to go to this website uh, the link will be in the description below as well for thefont.com so obviously you can choose your file so what you need to do you need to choose your .ttf file that you want to download and as you can see here here is the file and all the fonts so you can choose the size you want to. I'm just going to leave it to the default size. You can change it though if you want the image to be smaller or bigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to just export it as a .mc pack. Obviously you could take that option off. Although I would recommend doing that because I'm not too sure what not exporting as it would be. And I think it would be easier to actually export it. So we're just going to export this. Okay, so the resource pack is finished downloading. So here's where you have an option. You can either import this .mc pack to Minecraft by double clicking on it, which I'm going to show you now. So here we have the arrow font resource pack. So you can just activate that over any texture pack. And just to show you, it will work with any texture pack. I'm just going to deactivate my own texture pack and use one of the ones I have downloaded. So let's use the bold vanilla because that is a Minecraft marketplace texture pack. And here we go. So the custom font is downloaded now. If I go into a server real quick, I'll show you. Okay. If you want to actually put it into one of your own texture packs, I'll show you how to do that now. Okay. So what I've done here is I've taken the .mc pack that I just downloaded and put it into my tutorial folder just to show you how to do this. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to rename your .mc pack resource text thing, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to rename it to a .zip file. Obviously ignore the setting because it won't change anything, so obviously what you want to do is you want to extract your .zip file to the folder. Here we go. And what you want to do is you'll want to take this font folder and copy it. So what you want to do then is you'll want to rename your actual texture pack, custom texture pack, or whatever texture pack you have downloaded to a .zip file as well. And you'll also want to extract this to the folder. So here we go. We have the pack file. And what we're going to do is, you see this font file here, we're just going to delete it. What we're going to do, we're going to go back into this one and copy it. And paste it into the pack file. So now we have all the fonts for the arrow font we downloaded. And what you want to do now is you want to take everything in this folder, select it, and then right click and send it to a compressed zip folder. 
And once that's done, you're just going to name the pack. We're just going to call this tutorial pack. And then you want to rename it to a .mc pack. Once again, ignore the warning that will pop up because it's practically safe to do it. And then you'll want to click into this and open Minecraft. So we have once again imported my custom texture pack, which now has the arrow font in the actual folder pack. So we're just going to activate it and see what happens. And there you have it. The arrow font is once again in our game and in our folder pack. So that's how you add custom font to any and all Bedrock Edition texture packs. Please let me know if this tutorial has been helpful and let me know if you want any more tutorials like this because this has been interesting to make and I'm very sorry for all kind of like the jumpy cuts kind of thing because obviously I'm not really sure how to edit this video. So hopefully it's been easy enough to follow. Until next video or live stream, stay safe, sending positive vibes your way. Goodbye!